get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of P90X, Atari, Mark Devine from SealFit, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25 creates, we create 100% outsourced VIP special events or mini conferences for software companies or conference organizers. Um, We basically bring together their highest level uh, customers to help them connect and collaborate um, so that they can get their business to the next level. And what it does is it helps them get more referrals, increase retention with their highest level customers and get more engaged new customers. We do them all over the country. We just did them in one in Chicago. We've done them the past year or two in Austin. We did a barbecue tour. You appreciate that, Mike. Um, Santa Barbara, San Diego, New York, Sonoma, Las Vegas, and many more. So if your company sees the value of bringing your highest level customers together to connect and collaborate, go to rise25.com and email us and we'll see if your community qualifies. Um, And I want to give a big thank you to Kaivin Dave, founder of Glider.io, for introducing me to today's guest. I'm very excited. We have Mike McKim, co-founder of Cuvé Coffee. Uh, Cuvé Coffee uh, Roasting Company has provided independent coffee houses and coffee enthusiasts with sustainable artisan blends, single origin, and estate coffees. And I couldn't believe this, Mike, because you look really young, since 1998. It seems like forever ago. Uh, He also is a board chairman at the nonprofit Operation Supply Drop that supports today's active duty military and their families. Uh, Cuvée is a nationally recognized specialty coffee roaster with its roots firmly established in Texas. And Cuvée Coffee and their cold brew can be found at cuvéecoffee.com. It can also be found at Whole Foods, HEB, Central Market, Target, and soon to be limited Safeways. Mike, thanks for joining me. Jeremy, thanks for having me. People always love to hear different tools or software people use to run their business. Um, what are some things you use on a daily or weekly basis? Um, I was just looking at the website. I don't know what type of platform you use. What are some of the things you, you use to run the business? Well, the, the website, um, thank goodness Kyvin is in charge of that. Okay. So he's doing total digital overhaul for us. Um, we actually sell a lot of coffee online on our website, even though it's a crappy website and it's not intuitive and the shopping cart kind of sucks. And so we're redoing that, um, which I think we can increase revenue tenfold online just just with somebody smart handling that. Um, man, I'm sorry. What was the original um, question? Are there any tools or software oh, you use? Yeah. 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 Um, so for the the coffee bar, we use Slack for communication, yeah. um, which is a great tool because it, you know Love it pops Slack. up on my phone when somebody sends me a message. Um, and then here on this side of the house, um, we use a really cool cloud based platform called um, Cropster, hmm. and Cropster is a um, a software that allows us to track our green coffee inventory. It allows us to keep track of all of our roast profiles, and then we can take those coffees, bring them into the lab, taste them, put all our tasting notes in, and that way everything hmm. synced together. That's cool. Uh, yeah. So from a consistency and quality control standpoint, that tool is massive. Hmm. Love it. Really love like that program. Um, I always ask, Mike, first of all, thank you for doing this. Um, I know you have a million things going on. It's it's really valuable to hear your your lessons and stories um i just i always ask since it's inspired insider what's been the lowest moment and then on the flip side what's been a really proud uh moment what's been a low moment that you had to push through um my lowest moment and it's such an easy question um and it's a story that just uh, 
I hate it every time it comes up. But my lowest moment was I was, uh, you know, basically in between. It was after I quit uh, um, college at Kings Point uh, or left, failed out, whatever. Um, man, I had no idea what I was going to do. A, I felt like such a loser, you know, for 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 um, not being able to push through that. And then I took a job delivering pizzas. And the, the guy that was uh, the driver on shift the same time I was, was on medication for audio hallucinations. And I would stand back there and talk to this guy, Kenny, and and it was just, that was a dark time for me, man. Hmm. It just, it felt, I just felt so bad um, about myself. So that was by far my lowest point. How do you deal with that? Like, get out of that funk? Um, I mean, it, know, seems, it seems right now, looking back, you know, it seems like right now in this time, Oh yeah, I just kind of it, you're in a good place, right? But then you weren't, so it's a, it's a different story when you're in the situation. Yeah, I think this, and this is something I try and teach my sons, um, is the power of networking. Hmm. Um, and I didn't realize it back then, but just because of people I had met, people that I knew, friends that I had, you know, somebody helped me get a job getting out of the pizza joint and getting into AT&T and doing telemarketing, right? So that was my introduction to sales, which is, you know, that's pretty much what I've done the majority of my adult life now is sales. Um, so I think it, to answer your question, I think it was, uh, it was the network that helped hmm. drag me to that. Um, yeah. and then I'm also just in general, I'm not one to, um, I'm not one to throw myself a pity party. Like maybe I'll let myself feel sorry about something for you know a brief moment, but then I'm like, okay, you know, I gotta, I gotta get out of this on my own. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's powerful. The network, you know, if you're in, someone's in a bad place, they could call someone that they trust or that they, you know, could help them, pull them, pull them out, or maybe slap some sense into them. Um. So, what about the proud moment? What's been a proud uh, moment in the journey? Um, man, there's been no, there's been a lot. You know, I'm always proud when um, when somebody has worked for us for a while, and then they come to me because they got bit by the entrepreneurial bug, mm. and they want to go out and start their own business, whether it's a coffee business, coffee shop, a coffee roasting business, you know, or something totally different. I, uh, that always makes me feel proud. Um, man, when we built this 4,000 square foot facility, like, you know, before we did this little, you know, ceremony, me and my wife and the guy that was pouring the slab and, you know, let me put the shovel in the dirt and take the first scoop of dirt out. And I just remember just like, tears streaming out of my face that wow this is actually going to be a thing this is going to happen um i think that was super cool so it was or it was created out of nothing there was nothing there before nothing yeah wow. yeah and then um man another one so uh i have two sons one will be a senior in high school this year the other one um he just finished up his first year at the united states merchant marine academy oh, so wow. he made it he made it further than I did already. Um, but the fact that he came home from a high school college fair and said, you know, I think I want to go to Kings Point. Mm. And I was like, what? That's crazy. Um, <laughs> sorry. It's like phone a friend. We'll bring him on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so that was another – on a personal note, yeah. that's a super one for me. What sparked that, you think? Was it stories from you? Was it? I mean, it sounds like you were surprised. It's not like you were pushing him to do that. I absolutely wasn't, man. I I try and uh, you know I, I understand, and I think a lot of us go through the same thing. The the one person we listen to least in life as um, 
young males is usually our father. At some point, we think we know more than them, and whatever they say is right. dumb. You just do the opposite. Um, so I try never to um, never to force my boys to do anything. Um, I just try and give them advice and let them let them make their own decisions. So yeah, when he came home and said, "Hey, I want to go to a federal service academy. I want to go to Kings Point," I was like, "Well, all right, I'll help you any way I can." And Why do you, what was his reasoning? You know, that's a good question. Um, Connor has always he's always wanted to take a different path than his peers. So, um, you know, living, living here in, in Austin, Texas, when everybody else was playing football or baseball, he was like, I think I want to play ice hockey. Hmm. It's like ice hockey. What? That's weird. Who, it goes with who, cold brew. Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. <laughs> um, so I, I think that he's always wanted to take a different path hmm. and that's probably the reason he went this direction. That's cool. Um, Mike, what briefly? What's um, Operation Supply Drop? I know we talked about it in the very beginning. Yeah. Um, what is it? Yeah, Operation Supply Drop is a, a nonprofit that does a couple things. Um, kind of the meat of the program and the introduction to the Operation Supply Drop program is um, we send care packages to deployed troops, hmm. and those care packages consist of gaming consoles, controllers, and video games. Um, that's how people get introduced to Operation Supply Drop. And then with uh, cool. a lot of partnerships with people like Microsoft and Starbucks and folks like that, um, Google, we have a lot of programs and training uh, and a community built for people when they transition out of the military and back mm. into civilian life. Because, you know, I think everybody understands now that, you know, when you're in a military environment, you have a tribe. When you're on a sports team, you've got a tribe or whatever. And then, you know, when you are, when you're taken out of that tribe, you know, sometimes you can be a little bit rudderless. So, um, yeah, being able to help people as they transition back to civilian life is that's the second part and yeah. probably the the most important part of Operation Supply Drop. What helps ease that? It sounds like even for you, it's a really really difficult transition. I imagine it's like structured, then you go to something completely a different world, essentially. Yeah, I, I think. Yes, so there is that. I mean, you know, your day is pretty much planned for you. So there's not a whole bunch of planning involved. Um, and then the other part is, I, I think I think it's tough because when you spend time in the military, everybody kind of thinks and acts similar. And then you get out of the military, you, you get into a civilian job, and you're like, man, why don't these people think like everybody else that I used to work with? Well, because, you know, a lot of them weren't in the military, so they don't think. And you go through this struggle. You're like, man, well, if they would just understand, if they would do it the military way, they would. And really, it's like, well, no, you're not in the military anymore. You you need to transition back to civilian life, not try and make civilian life more military-like. I think that's probably one of the biggest mm. uh, hurdles that a lot of people yeah. have to overcome. Yeah. Mike, I want to be the first one to thank you. This has been great. Everyone should check out cuvecoffee.com. It's C-U-V-E-E, -E, coffee.com. Where else should we point people towards online or anywhere else? Well, um, you know, all the social platforms, everything is at Cuve Coffee. So Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, all that sort of stuff. Cool. All right. And then anybody that wants to connect with me, I'm just at Mike McKim. Great. Thank you, Mike, again. Fantastic. Yeah, thanks, Everyone Jeremy. Everyone check out cuvecoffee.com and yeah. try out their cold brew and their nitro hemp oil cold brew. Perfect. All right. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, like
Just like a peach if you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand